June 16th, 2021. The other day, I picked up a trucker a couple hours outside of the city. This truck driver is in his mid-50s and married to a woman he loves, but he's never been attracted to. He's been busy online trying to find a young woman to adopt as his daughter. Not a child, not a foster, but a young adult woman. The more he talks, the more alarms start going off in my head. He tells me some producers found him online and he signed a contract to be on a series they are producing in a major network. Wife is concerned he's going to be attracted to her and he has a history of befriending young women. He's also had an affair, so this time he's doing everything in the open and including her, but she's still not on board. This 20-year-old from Greece is six months pregnant with a girl. Man claims he's not attracted to this girl, but keeps saying, yet. So I say, it sounds like you're telling her you want to be her dad, but deep down you are keeping a door open for more. He admits I'm right, and he thanks me for calling him out. He tells me he's also interested in Polly in the purest sense of the word, and the deeper he goes, the more I'm like, this isn't adoption. This is trafficking. I don't believe he has fatherly adoptive intentions. You'll be able to meet this man on national television later this year and hear his story from his lips. We gotta talk about this. This is really messed up. I most certainly am very very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. And I see her as my daughter. Annie seems to be trying to wipe the entire existence of this show. There has been no statement put out about why they wiped it. It's brushing a lot of very disturbing things under the rug. Now I'm gonna try and be very careful with what I say in this video because I don't want to get in trouble. And it's clear that they don't want anybody to be talking about it and they just want to act like they never put this show on air. But I I happen to be one of those people that watched the very first episode the very first week that it came out. So I saw a lot of things on this show before they decided to try and take it down. Pretty sure episode three was the last episode that they aired. When I watched the first episode with my husband, the amount of times that we stopped looking at the TV and turned to look at each other, so confused that this was being filmed and aired as if it wasn't one of the most disturbing things to see watching unfold on TV. I couldn't believe that people sat back and filmed this and that they just put it up as a dramatized reality television show. This show is called Adults Adopting Adults and it's exactly what it sounds like. An adult family wanting to adopt someone who is also legally an adult. Some of them seem very normal. Now it may sound weird at the idea of adopting an adult but I could see how in some ways, in some situations, that it wouldn't be weird. Everybody that is questioning why this show got ripped off the air are all coming to the same conclusion, is that it was wiped and they're trying to act like it never existed because of a couple that they had on this show by the name of Danny and Christy, specifically Danny. Why has the internet been assuming that this couple is probably why the show got taken off, not only the air, but removed from Hulu? You can't even buy the episodes on Amazon Prime anymore. It's just gone. Like they're like, we just wanna pretend like this show never happened. Danny is a 50 plus year old grown man wanting to adopt a pregnant, 20 year old girl from Austria. Danny was reportedly born on August 19th, 1965, making him 56 years old today. I could not confirm this. This is just what the internet is saying, but he's definitely over the age of 50. His wife, Christy, is 49 years old and was born in 1972. The month and the day, I couldn't really find it, so I didn't want to include it. They're a married couple from Chillicothe, Ohio. My name's Danny, this is my wife, Christy and we live in Chillicothe, Ohio. And they never had children of their own. Can't have children of our own. I realized that I had no one in my life to be a, my legacy. On the show, when Christy's talking about not having kids, it appears as though she never really wanted them. She talks about how she has a lot of love to offer and she has a lot of cats, so maybe they're the ones getting the love. Danny, on the other hand, comes off as someone who is obsessed with the idea of adopting. He is obsessed with the idea of adopting a young woman that is also legally an adult. They talk in the show a lot about how Danny has been unfaithful to his wife on numerous occasions. He, he's been unfaithful in the past and it almost ended us and I was promised that was not going to ever happen again. There are so many scenes in this show that are incredibly uncomfortable to watch. There would be a scene on and he would be talking like really excitedly and confidently about something and his wife is just sitting there looking so 
upset. I don't want to point fingers here. I don't want to say things that could get me in trouble, but it was disturbing and it was making me question maybe how he might be treating her behind closed doors. You're struggling to recover. It's fine. I'm not upset. We're I'm not to bash my husband and bash your television. So apart from talking a lot about how he's cheated on her on numerous occasions, his wife also talks about how he acts out whenever he doesn't get his way. Danny gets what he wants and if he doesn't get it, it's a problem for me or whoever has stopped it. His stress level goes from zero to a million in five seconds. Seems like the bigger the life event, the more that is true. And he even says on the show that he doesn't ever want to be wrong. He always wants to be right. There are so many red flags with this man already. Number one, as a human being, we all know we're not always right. So he's that type of guy that's like, I know it all and I don't want to be corrected. I want to be right at all times, which means he is very uneducated and not a very smart man at all. So it's never described exactly how he acts out when he doesn't get his way. Danny really likes to downplay my concerns and just brushes them off every time. He proceeds on no matter what I say. How is it that he acts out whenever he doesn't get his way that's making her scared or holding her back from saying, no, you can't do this, especially something as serious as adopting a young adult woman. Now it's following them along the process of adopting one woman, but this wasn't the first time he attempted to adopt somebody. The first time he attempted to adopt somebody was an 18 year old teenage girl. Adult adoption came to my attention when a young 18 year old girl came and bought a puppy from us. Her father had passed away years before and I just felt a need to help her in some way. I'm noticing a theme immediately when I'm hearing all this that he wants to adopt somebody that is still young and looks young but is of a legal age. That immediately stood out to me that there was a theme in this. He had previously found somebody before that was 18 years old that wanted to be adopted. But it didn't work out. And here's why. He described this 18 year old girl as being incredibly beautiful and said that he caught feelings for her. So they had to cut it off. Unfortunately, I could not pursue that first young lady because I actually started having feelings for her. She was a very beautiful young lady. It's glaringly obvious to anybody that watches it that he has bad intentions. So his wife's just sitting there while he's talking about how he caught feelings for like this 18 year old girl that he wanted to adopt. He wanted to make this girl his daughter and caught feelings for her. Something's off there. That's not normal. She's clearly very upset. You can tell she's gone through a lot with this guy. I'm sure a lot more than what we even know from the show. You would think that she probably wouldn't be okay with him attempting to adopt another young woman. Liana came along and I thought, he's really doing this again. Ileana and I have just hit it off and I think she's going to be a wonderful addition to our family. At the time of filming, Ileana was 20 years old and pregnant. She was actually homeless in Austria. I don't know if she was like couch hopping or if she was literally physically living outside. I'm not entirely sure on that. I'm looking to be adopted from Danny because I never met my father. And my mom, we had a very bad relationship. That's why I ended up on the streets. I decided to take matters in my own hands. Find somebody online because being on the street with a newborn is not an option for me. She was looking for someone to help support her because she didn't want her baby to be born and living on the streets. When I grew up, I was in a homeless shelter for a long period of time. And without the help from Danny and Christy, I would be again on the street. I'm very grateful for that and willing to do anything to stay here. It's also talked a lot about how she didn't have her father in her life. Her father died when she was very, very young. So we started communicating via text messages. Which immediately like hearing that was just really upsetting to me because there are situations like this that happen all the time where men prey on young women that have either bad relationships with their fathers or didn't ever have their fathers in their life. And they come to them and shower them with all this parental love and make them feel like they're getting what they always wanted out of a father. Liana has entrusted me with her life. She wants to be with me. I got it all. Are you sure? This is what dads do. We, we take care of stuff. This is incredibly dangerous when it's someone like 
Danny. Now, how they ended up meeting was on a Facebook group. About three months ago, I went on social media and one evening read a post from Ileana. This is a Facebook group that is for adults wanting to adopt adults. She got on this website looking for support and she explained that she knew there was a lot of weird people on there and people with bad intentions. So it's unfortunate that she ended up getting on a plane and going to meet Danny and Christy. And that just tells me that this man was manipulating her to no end. Like this man was manipulating this girl if she didn't think that he was classified as one of the creeps to avoid on this Group. Me and Danny, we have a very daughter and father-like bond. Um, we we talk about everything and we just make fun of everything. We have our jokes, but me and Christy don't have a good connection yet. It makes me wonder the things that he was saying and how he was saying them to make her feel comfortable enough to get on a plane to go meet him. And to be honest with you, if none of this was recorded and there wasn't other people with cameras watching this situation, I would be very scared about what happened to her. Like the only thing that gives me peace of mind about her going to meet him and moving into their home is that it was being recorded. So at least there is video proof she came here that she was with him because you have no idea how many situations like this happen where they're never seen again. There are so many clips that are so uncomfortable to watch of how he's talking about Ileana. Even when they went into the airport, like he went in for like two hugs, like he hugged her once, he went in for another one. And then in like a cutscene, he's saying how he had to wait for his hug because she hugged his wife first. Hi. <laughs> we are so happy you're here. I gotta get another hug. Oh my Ileana needs me. I couldn't be happier. I had to wait for my hug. I love her to death. I tell her that I love her and it's an appropriate love. And you know, I call her my daughter and doing that since before she actually got here. I would protect this young lady till the day I die. The bond was already there. It's only gotten stronger. And then before they're going to the airport to meet her, there's this clip where he's talking about how he wasn't sure she was gonna actually be there and if she was there for the right reasons and if she was there to just get money out of them, which I found to be a red flag. Because if your goal is to adopt this young pregnant woman to help her out, then you know that she needs the financial support. You know that she needs the money. I have worries that Danny's being used and I'm being being used for a couple months now. He's been sending her money and basically asking how high he should jump. Is she catfishing us? Is there a money angle here? There's also another scene before they get to the airport where he's like making like one of those, you know, when you go to the airport to meet up with somebody and you write, welcome home, blah, blah, blah on it. He said that he wanted to write, um, welcome to Ohio, give me a blowy. What do you want this thing to say? I don't know. What would you want it to say? If it was my poster, I'd want it to say, welcome to Ohio, where's my blowy, but. <laughs> <laughs> you knew it, you knew what I was Why you gotta be say? such a freak show? Why are you always Where such a freak show? Where are the half naked girls? <laughs> He laughed like it was a joke, but that's not a joke. You're bringing a 20 year old vulnerable pregnant woman to live with you that you're saying in multiple cutscenes is like a daughter to you. And by the way, I may have left this out. He's only known her for three months, three months. And he's saying, she's like a daughter to me. I call her my daughter. She looked at me as a father figure and I see her as my daughter. That, that is not like a daughter to you if you're gonna make comments about writing on a welcome sign when she gets to Ohio, give me a blowy. That's not somebody you're viewing as your daughter, you sick He also makes comments on the show about how cute she is. This girl looks young. She looks very young. She doesn't even look 20. She looks like she's honestly like 16 years old. There's a lot of other weird scenes in the show. There's one where like they're making breakfast and like Danny tries to like bring up their relationship problems and Ileana's only been there a day and he's like, this is the time we need to talk about this. And I'm like, why are you trying to bring up your marital issues in front of this poor girl that just got there? There's been a lot of very heated discussions. And so I am very happy that Christy is, you know, kind of coming along and I think Appreciate it. Three of us, we're just gonna be a family. We're gonna share things. So Christy, if you were willing to share our marital problems, this would be a perfect place for you to do it. 
like what is wrong with you i mean i could think of several things but i'm just trying to be courteous and ask i guess and then there's another one where they're walking outside on the property and like showing iliana around which by the way they spent like almost six thousand dollars on her to have a camper outside of the house because his wife didn't want her in the home because he's cheated on her so many times our marriage is not strong enough to have someone else moving into our house so I went ahead and made sure that we had other accommodations. But in this scene, they're like walking around the property and there's all these like keep out signs. So what, what is with that? The trailer? Yeah. So back in the day, I had a survival business and it held all the stuff for that. Um, now it just holds a bunch of stuff I need to get rid of. <laughs> so you don't want to end up in the trailer? Yeah. Not saying anything ever happens, but. Maybe not. <laughs> we don't want anybody to come yeah. trespass and bug us and stuff. I have security cameras all over the place. Oh. So they're watching us right now. But do you really? Yes, yes. we really do. Oh, wow. Yes. Yep. There's all kinds of hidden cameras around. So how safe do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, I definitely feel nervous being here. I never expected that. I thought things would be very different, but unfortunately I can't change anything. This situation is glaring bright red flag for human trafficking. This happens all the time, but isn't recorded. Now I can't say that that is what this is specifically because I could get in a lot of trouble for that. This happens so much where men will manipulate them and make them think they're gonna take care of them, they're gonna financially support them, and then they end up locking them up from the rest of the world. It's also really disturbing to me that he wanted to adopt not only a young woman, but also a young pregnant woman and adopting her into a family that is broken. I want us to work on us before you bring another human into our marriage. It's never a smart thing to adopt somebody when your relationship is broken. You need to fix your relationship before you bring in anybody else into the home. But that's even with normal families. That's not with this one where this man's tried to do this before but then caught feelings for the girl. There's even a scene where he says something alluding to the fact that he may catch feelings for her. Most certainly am very very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. This is a delicate subject, but so far I have not thought of her as a beautiful woman. She is. But also she's like a daughter to him. And I see her as my daughter. What in the, what in the? Christy, tell me what your friends are telling you. One of the comments I've heard most is what the is wrong with your husband and we're gonna kill him. They wanna just literally kill him. And I've not said that to him out loud. They are definitely questioning his motives. The way Danny was on this show is so shocking that people obviously went digging and went looking for him on social media. And they found a lot of videos. I think it was like TikToks or Facebook videos or something of him saying things that were just really weird. Like some of them I couldn't even finish just going on these like really perverted rants. It's like, why are you even talking about that? But even more severe, being incredibly racist. A racism is alive and well in this country. Unfortunately, it comes from the blacks. We're the guy that's trying to adopt 18 year old teenagers who you want to sleep with. At least that's what it looks like to me. Um, but wait, there was more that you've said. Not racist. Whites are racist for the most part. We don't care. Black History Month, BET, all black colleges, Black Lives Matter. I mean, these are just examples of how racism is alive and well in this country. Now, this video was shot last year in A&E. What are y'all gonna do about this? Because I'm very curious that he's on your show, adults adopting adults, spewing out all this racism. I, I, I'm looking forward to your response. When A&E removed the show from everything, like I said, they didn't just take it down. You cannot watch it. It's as if it never existed on Hulu or any other streaming service. It's completely gone. They didn't put out a statement about why they took it down, which a lot of times if someone in a show has made racist remarks or said things on social media, they will come out with a statement and say they removed this person from the show. They didn't even do that. Like they didn't come out and say like, you know, we made the decision to cut the show 
show off the air because of this, 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 and this. They didn't do any of that. So it makes you wonder why did they take it off? Then you start seeing all these people that are talking about how this is human trafficking. A and E, what are you doing? Why are you filming human trafficking and putting it up on TV like it's entertainment? This is not entertainment. This is actually scary. I can't find anything else out about this girl. I don't know if she's okay and I don't know what happened to her after it. I have seen online that people are saying that she no longer lives there and that he's trying to adopt somebody else that has three children. Which if that's true, oh my god, like no, why does he keep trying to adopt women that have kids? This man's dangerous. I don't think networks should be able to put this type of stuff up on TV and just take it down and not give any explanation for why they did it. Like it's almost as if they're trying to hide from the fact that they put something up on TV that they shouldn't have. And then I'm sitting there watching it and I'm like, people greenlit this? Like how many people had to watch this and think, oh yeah, this is entertaining. You should never dramatize situations like that and put it up for people to sit and watch with their popcorn. You guys are gonna have to let me know what your thoughts are down below because because this whole situation just disturbs me. I wonder if we're ever gonna get some answers about this. Probably not, because they just wanna act like it never existed. I have a second channel, which I would be so thrilled if you guys would head over and subscribe to it. It is called More Kyla, but I'll also have it linked down below. It's more of me which why wouldn't you want to be part of that? And if you want even more Kyla, if that wasn't enough, I also have members content, which if you become a member, it also helps support me in this channel. But yeah, definitely check those things out if you guys would like to, and I will see you in another video.